This is a video on Mastery Learning, developed by Benjamin Bloom. It is based on the belief that all children can learn with appropriate learning conditions. It's a very scripted, very mechanical approach to teaching and learning. It's one of those systems approaches that tries to teacher-proof the curriculum, meaning that if the teacher would just follow the recipe, then learning is guaranteed to occur. With master learning, students' aptitude is determined by the length of time it takes them to learn, meaning that everyone can learn if you run them through the conveyor belt enough times. A student with great aptitude goes through once. Students with less learning aptitude go through the conveyor belt several times. So here are the features. And there is a place for it, even though I do not speak very highly for it. The problem is if it becomes the only teaching tool that you use, and sadly sometimes it is. It includes group-based instruction. All the same things are done to the same students. It's very teacher-centered in that the teacher delivers in all the information. There's a place for this, however, it should not be the only type of instruction. The teacher is in control, directs all the action. Learning is something that's done to students here, and it clearly specifies the learning objectives. Now, we talked before about when you define what must be, you limit what might be, in that learning becomes not open-ended, but a limited and defined thing. It has a specific curriculum. It defines what is to be learned and in what order, a list of sub-skills, whether students learn that way or not. Units are broken down into sub-skills. You define a larger unit or something to be taught, and then you break it down into smaller units and levels of skills. It has a defined level of mastery, meaning that students meet a criteria and move on, or if they don't, they repeat as necessary. If they meet the criteria, they move along the conveyor belt. If not, boop, they're seen as rejects and they're run through again and again till they meet the level of mastery. It's a very structured and formulaic approach to teaching. It is scripted, direct instruction with repetition. Students who finish early are essentially treading water. They can be engaged in student-centered activities, learning centers, and as I said before, essentially they are treading water. Remediation consists of MOTS, more of the same. The only variable here is time and exposure to the same lifeless fecal matter, metaphor, value statement, I apologize for that. But remediation consists of giving it more, more of. So it's a very structured process. Here's the overview. You pretest to look for problems. The question is, if you meet the criteria then, do you skip the lesson? I think not. Everyone gets taught whether they need it or not. You teach, you test, you reteach if necessary, retest as necessary, repeat as necessary. It is very behavioristic, isn't it? Some problems. It's this one-size-fits-all curriculum. The only thing that is made different for learners of different learning styles or aptitudes is uh, uh, you do it again. Only differentiation is in time. You do it again. That's how you differentiate. And that's not differentiation. It's very controlled and closed-ended. It defines exactly what must be. You lose that high-ended stuff. We want to get back to the basics, but yes, we can get back to the basics, but then we lose the higher end. It limits learning in that there is no open-ended stuff for your gifted and creative learners. Research does find that students achieve the basics at higher levels using mastery learning, but it does take more time. It reduces higher end inquiry and skills, however. Again, it is an important skill, an important pedagogical skill for you to have in your toolbox, but it should not be the only tool. It is difficult to uh, implement, and record-keeping can be a nightmare. Obviously, 
I think it's boring, lifeless, and it splinters the curriculum. It doesn't make sense to break something larger into subskills. Students learn more complex things best when you go to whole, to part, to whole. Instead of introducing them to little subskills, they get a sense of the whole. They're not learning out of context. That, by the way, is part of holistic learning theory. Again, differentiation means more of the same. You run them through the same conveyor belt, give them more of the same treatment so they cannot learn at higher levels. That doesn't make sense if they're not succeeding. Children are seen as the same, the same, the same. You do the same thing. Education then becomes a treatment, something you do to students, not something students do. Learning is a response to treatment. Master Masterly, master learning is useful, but only in limited circumstances.